loading in all the DLCs. I barely remember this game. Like, I remember, like, the, the main bullet points, but... I never finished the DLCs, though. But I did finish the story, like... I don't know, ten years ago, maybe. Mothership Zeta... I don't think I even started Mothership Zeta. It would be so wild to think you lived underground your whole life. Then to come up and see the sun for the first time. And the world to look like this. <laughs> How to do, friend? Welcome, sir or madam, to Crazy Wolfgang's traveling junk store. The depot of detritus. The shop of slop and the caravan of crap. Now, what odds and ends can I, the craziest of all possible wolf gangs, offer to you? <laughs> Nothing but the highest quality leftovers, junk, and crap. Another satisfied customer. See you out on the road, huh? Sure. How the hell did they even get that up there? I'll be there. Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Nice town you got here, Sheriff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're oh, going to get along just you. fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Right, best received. I'm glad we understand each other. Now... Is there something I can help you with? I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him? Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Okay, I have to go. Have a good one. No, you. Good to see you. Thank you. Such friendly faces in Megaton. And every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear oh, yeah. the thunder of his voice. Wanted to ask him about the bomb. I don't think I have enough explosive though. Got my eye on you. Don't do anything stupid. Didn't he just say he liked me? Let's discuss this bomb. What about it? Don't you think someone should disarm that thing? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? I can see about disarming that bomb for you. Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. 
go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Demolition expertise doesn't come cheap. I want 500. That's pretty Wow, 11% at work? Yeah. Do it and you'll get your money. Don't screw up, though. Or we'll all regret it. I forgot I was running like a low charisma character. I don't think I have enough explosive. I think you need like 60. Drink the waters of the globe for this 25, which I still don't have. <laughs> Maybe next time I level up. Wasteland assholes. Hmm. Look here, asshole. Hmm. I don't like you. Stay cl uh, I wanted to be rude back, but I'll just leave. I'll ask you. Ah, look at this. New blood. Tell me, boy. You ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. Now, I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a Patriot, and any Patriot worth his salt is going to toss his gun in for the Enclave. Any day That's now, weird. they're going to roll up here, and then this nightmare will be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? An Enclave respecter. I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Could be the guy I saw at Moriarty's saloon not too long Ooh. ago. I'd ask there. Why do you support the Enclave? Why? Why? Look around you! This is the good old USA. Sure, she looks a little bit different these days, but you're still on American soil. And even if you were born in some underground vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. And it's your duty, and my duty, to support our country and our president, no matter what. Understand? <laughs> You're right, my country deserves my unthinking and unquestioning support. Now, there's a proud patriot. <laughs> After all, if they could do us wrong, we wouldn't have elected them in the first place, right? Wow. Yes, sir. Trust in the judgment of other people to know what's best for me. It's the American way. This came out in the Bush era. I guess the beginning of Obama era? I don't know. Take care. 2008, so yeah, I guess end of Bush era. Pretty funny. Piece of junk. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Yeah, fuck. What are you? Haven't you ever seen a ghoul before? No, what's a ghoul? Well, not all of us got the chance to hole up in a nice cushy vault when the bombs fell. A bunch of us got stuck out here in the world and got a full on blast of heat and radiation. Turned us into a pack of walking corpses. Here, as I can tell, we age slower than you. A lot slower. There were even a few ghouls that were alive during the war. Of course, with a face like ground Brahmin meat, you can imagine that folks don't take too kindly to us. You know, it's not so bad. <laughs> nice of you to say so. If you can't be nice, at least pretend, right? Fake it till you make it and all that. Still, though. A fake compliment is better than the usual spit in the face that I get. You're not half bad for a smooth skin. Oh, I'm being calm. I'm looking for my father, a middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. God, please, if you know anything about my father, you need to tell me. 
I was like you once. I wandered into town looking for an escape from this stupid joke of a body I'm trapped in. Now look at me. Very well. Moriarty keeps a computer terminal in the back. On it, he keeps all the goings on in Megaton. If you can get onto that terminal, I'll bet he has information on your dad. Now get away from me, smooth skin. If Moriarty even suspects I told you this, I'm a dead ghoul. Wow. That's secure for a reason. What? Thank you, uh... Thank you, friend. Oh, he's at the terminal. Holland Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. I'm looking for my father, a middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Huh? My father and I were born in Vault 111. Or 101. Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but oh, life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. My dad told me you were born in Vault 101. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? I was kidding. Dad talked about you all the time. Now, really, where is he? Did he? How are these working now, at, like, such a low our percent? Our time together was brief, but... Oh, my luck is, is like, like ten... When a bond is forged, little else matters, hmm? Well, he did come through here, but he left. I'm truly sorry. But maybe you can catch up to him. He headed southeast into the city. Said he needed information from those lonies at the station. You know, Galaxy News Radio. What there is of it. What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of D.C. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. I have to go. Don't let me keep you. Thank you, Gob. Moriarty. Make a... My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. What? My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That's true. And makes you a rather valuable individual. Mr. Burke, is it? Please continue. I find myself enthralled. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map 
Wait, you're going to destroy the town? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. Throw an extra 500 caps, you've got yourself a deal. Is that the best you can do? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm afraid I'm not impressed. Sim wants me to disarm the bomb. Sims is an idiot. He prides himself on his position as mayor and sheriff of this scrapyard. I told Sims I would disarm him, maybe for some extra caps it would change my mind. Is that the best you can do? Wow. I'm afraid I'm not impressed. <sighs> Too many lives are at stake, Burke. I'm gonna defuse that bomb. I advise you against that particular course of action. If you interfere with my employer's wishes, you will find he can be quite oh, disagreeable. Megatunner's under my protection. You're going to leave. I know. Oh, I see. I didn't realize Megaton had any guardian beyond its intrepid sheriff. Very well, then. I'll take my leave as you suggest. The move? Huh? Atom. Hey. I give unto you Morning. these feeble bones. Morning. I present to your will this frail body. Now I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess. Just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Yeah, I'm actually up. I have to go. Remember us if you need something. Sure. Yeah. Morning. Morning. I beg of you to use uh I tell Sims about Burke. Huh? Huh? Good to see you're staying out of trouble. Thank you. I met a man named Burke. He said he'd pay me to rig the bomb to explode. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. What if he asked someone else to explode the bomb? You should do something. Good point. Come with me. You're about to get an education in wasteland justice. Is he gonna kill him? Oh man, he's booking it. I don't remember ever telling Sims in like the past play uh, playthrough about Burke. I think I always blew it up. Explain your business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. 
This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. Yeah, you need something? I know, I know. You've made a grievous oh, error no. in judgment. Watch your back! He killed the Sheriff. It's so hard to get out of there. Help! Stop doing that so close to me. Burke has been killed. You can no longer receive a reward for blowing up Megan. Good riddance. <laughs> In unison. Chinese assault rifle. Well, then I'll take it. House key. That's sad. I didn't know he died. Silenced. Ten minutes. Am I still not leveled up? Oh, now I won't get a either start talking or get reward for fixing the bomb, face. right? Well, there's only a hundred caps anyway. But I should probably still disarm it if I can. I can't believe he killed him. <laughs> Seems uh, 15 years old still surprises you. Every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken dead. I'm sure I'll have to, to come back to Megaton. And I'm out of ammo. I don't have like another quest, do I? DLC, DLC, DLC. I think that's DLC too?
Mars. Fast travel back to Megaton. Just to disarm the bomb. The power of Adam. What's happening? Is there a weapons shop? I know there's the clinic, the church here. I don't remember if there's a weapon shop here. There probably should be. Uh, attempt to disarm the bomb. Be stricken death to hear the thunder of his voice. Oh, I gotta tell his the son. Men, women and children of the earth come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam. Isn't his son like 10 or something? I wonder what's in the house. For this ancient weapon of war hey, is our salvation. There he is. You did it. You disarmed that thing. He's My like dad. A kid. He he would have been real happy about that. Thank you. He Sad. wanted you to have these. A key in the deed to an empty place up behind the brass lantern. You can move in there if you want. Oh, and talk to Mora at Crater Side Supply. She can help you decorate the place. Station. Five hundred camps. Thank you. Isn't I think this is the house, right? That's Jericho's house. My house. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. Thank you. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Give me something to drink. Certainly, sir. Here you are. Thank you. Certainly. Just load me up on waters. Oh, I can't do it. Tell me a joke. War does not determine who is right, only who is left. Oh, oh. tell me another. My hum Oh, well, that one sucked. Not irradiated. Um, let's take a, take a little bit. 